Hello traders, this is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. Just wanted to take a moment here and take a look at the uh, weekly results for the AAII Investor Sentiment Survey. We still have a, a f fairly large amount of, uh, of bulls in the, uh, in the survey. Uh, that number did drop down a little bit from, uh, from last week's reading. We're down to about 44% now bulls, which is still, which is still quite a bit. Uh, most of the most of the drop in the bulls went straight down to the neutral category, getting, getting that up to about 28%. While we do have a, a large number of bulls, we don't quite have that climactic reading uh, that really implies that the market is at the at the cusp of a turn uh, to the downside here. The investor sentiment, when it gets when it gets overdone, becomes a contraindicator. We're just a little bit a little bit off from that, and the and the reason I say that is what you really need to get that high probability uh, reversal, where you have that real real uh, lopsided reading, where there's just too many bulls. You really have to get a lower number in the neutral column. Uh, when you get that high number of bulls that's approaching 50%, 50 percent, 50 that's five zero. When that happens, you need to get the neutrals down around down around 20% or so. When you get the neutrals down around 20% or so, that really takes the undecided folks uh, to a very, very low number, and that's what gets everybody onto the same side of the trade. While we still have, you know, 44% bulls, we still have more than 50% who are either neutral or bearish. So we're going to monitor this closely when it comes out again next week to see if uh, we can deplete some of these bears or the neutral column and get them back into the bull, bull camp and then perhaps get a, get a climactic reading for a really nice reversal uh, that should be tradable for us. But uh, anyway, we have to take it uh, one week at a time. Uh, this one, this week, was a, a period of more moderation uh, than more enthusiasm from the reading. So we'll just have to see what they give us next week. And until then, this is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. Thanks for listening.